again welcome to nyana learning continuing with the lecture on transistor and this lecture is about the characteristics of common emitter configuration so similar to common base configuration as we already discussed here is a circuit for obtaining input and output characteristics curve in common emitter configuration okay so as it is a common emitter configuration emitter terminal is common for both input and output now here vb it is a base emitter voltage then vc it is the collector emitter voltage then base emitter junction it, it is the input section then the collector emitter junction it is the output section okay then the voltmeters voltmeters are used to measure the voltage values and the ammeters are used for measuring the current values and vbb and vcc are the bias voltages okay so by measuring the input voltage input current and output voltage and output current we can plot the input and output characteristics so here is the input characteristics for common emitter configuration so input characteristics curve it is drawn between the base current that is ib and base emitter voltage vb for a constant values of vc that is keeping the collector emitter voltage constant we are determining the values of base current for various values of base emitter voltage okay so the base current it is measured in micro ampere and base emitter voltage in volts now here shown the curve for various values of vc that is for vc is equal to 2 volt and vc is equal to some 6 volt okay now from the curves it is clear that the input characteristics is similar to that of a forward bias diode okay why because the base emitter region is likely to be same as a forward bias diode okay so that's why the curve is similar to that of a forward bias diode now while comparing the characteristics with that of a common base configuration current increases less rapidly with increase in base emitter voltage okay so this shows that the input resistance is larger in common emitter configuration comparing to that of common base configuration now another point is that for a given value of vb that is for a given value of vb as vc increases ib lowers or decreases or the value of base current will be low that is for a particular vb as vc increases the value of base current decreases or it will have low value reason is that for higher values of vc provides greater collector base junction reverse bias and this results in greater depletion region penetration into base and it reduces the distance between the collector base and emitter base region okay that is for higher values of the collector emitter voltage it provides greater collector base junction reverse bias okay and this results in greater depletion region penetration into the base region and it reduces distance between the collector base and emitter base region now as a result of this more charge carriers flow from emitter to the collector base junction and only a few flow to the base region and that's why the base current is having less value okay that is for a particular base emitter voltage the base current will have less value for higher values of collector emitter voltage now similar to that of the common base config configuration from input characteristics we can find out the dynamic input resistance okay the value of the input resistance can be found out mathematically as that is input resistance input resistance which is equal to 
the ratio of that is voltage VBE VEBE to the current IB VBE to IB actually the change in value delta value okay that is delta VBE by delta IB keeping VCE that is collector emitter voltage constant okay so in this way we can find out the input resistance okay so that's about the input characteristics for common emitter configuration so next we move on to the output characteristics for common emitter configuration so the output characteristics is drawn between the collector current and collector emitter voltage okay that is between ic and vce for various values of base current that is keeping base current constant we are determining the values of collector current for various values of collector emitter voltage okay so here the collector emitter voltage is given in volts then the collector current in milli ampere and base current in micro ampere okay so in this characteristics we can say that the collector current varies with vc for values between 0 to 1 volt okay mainly it varies between 0 to 1 volt and after that it is having some constant value and actually transistors are operated above this 1 volt okay that is after that the values of collector current is almost constant that is we can say that it is independent of the collector emitter voltage now comparing with the common base configuration output characteristics is having some slope in this common emitter configuration that is in common base configuration it is having almost a horizontal characteristics but here we have some slope in the curve and actually this shows that output resistance is less for common emitter configuration than that of the common base configuration now similar to that of common base configuration here also we have to discuss three regions that is the active region saturation region and cutoff region okay so first we move on to active region so in active region for small value of ib that is base current effect of vc over the collector current is small okay but for large value of ib that is base current for large values of base current this effect increases okay now the shape of the characteristics we can say that it is similar to that of the common base configuration but one thing is that the collector current ic is larger than ib in this case that is for common emitter configuration see for some value ib is equal to 20 micro ampere what is the value of collector current it is some 1.5 milli ampere that is much greater than that of the base current okay for them ib is equal to 60 micro ampere what is the value of collector current over here it is some 4 that is almost 4 milli ampere which is higher than 60 micro ampere but what is the case in common base configuration there we have the collector current almost equal to that of the value that is the values are almost equal to that of the emitter current in that case in common base configuration in that case with that of the emitter current okay so here the value of collector current is larger than the base current okay now with high value of collector emitter voltage that is as collector emitter voltage increases i see increases rapidly and it may damage the transistor okay here it is shown that is the breakdown for higher values of vc or we increase vc beyond a particular value and this is because high value of vc result in breakdown of the zv junction and it causes rapid increase in the collector current okay so that is the reason for the breakdown so that's about the active region now moving on to saturation region that is for low value of vc ib does not cause a change in ic and that's the region is the saturation region and another one is the cutoff region that is for small amount of ic flow even when ib is equal to zero that is even when the base current is equal to zero 
a small amount of collector current flows and this particular current is the leakage current and in that region the transistor is in cutoff mode and that particular region is the cutoff region okay now similar to that of the common base configuration or in input characteristics here we can find out the resistance that is the output resistance now mathematically the output resistance can be expressed as output resistance it is the ratio so it is a ratio between yes that is the collector emitter voltage that is vce to the collector current that is ic which parameter is constant that is base current keeping constant okay actually that change in values are taken that is delta vc to delta ic okay okay so the that particular change in value of vc to ic delta vc by ic gives the output resistance keeping the base current constant okay so that's it so that's about the output characteristics for common emitter configuration so thanks for watching the video for watching more videos please subscribe our channel jnana learning